What up, Culture Gang? L up here. I wanted to do this video to express my thoughts about what Andre 3000 has recently done. It's been 17 years since he released something. A new album. Have you ever heard the album? The album is called New Blue Sun. There's definitely a heavy meaning behind that. However, we're not talking about that. I'm talking about the fact that this man right here, let's talk a little bit about Andre and my thoughts about him as an individual, as an artist. I believe that he opened up a lane or he dust off something that was there that people were afraid to tap into. What I mean by that, I mean the creativity or the fresh approach to music or frequency, a innocence that comes behind what he's doing here. When everybody else is putting out new trap albums and rap albums, R&B, whatever, I just, I just felt like it was long overdue for something like this to happen in the industry. I feel like he's doing something different. So it may not be what you expect. It's not one of those bangers that we rock out. It's not one of those things where, that we rock in the, in the club. And for some of you, you probably can't even ride in the car to it. Or may, perhaps you can. It's this new lane that I've myself tapped into. It's called lo-fi. Low fidelity music. And... When I discover lo-fi, I've been listening to lo-fi for a very long, well, not a very long time, but I've been listening to it for a while before I started to create music like it. And I just, I don't know, I tapped into it because I felt like it's also a place of innocence. It's also a place of creativity. It's more open. It's, it's like a lane for us to just do what we want and do how we feel and not be judged by people and I really care that much about what people say it's it's music for the soul it's music for people who's looking for something different if you haven't heard his music yet basically what it is he picked up a flute or like my instrument a woodwind or wind instrument the album is based on just instruments that are not uh, it's 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 not a preferred instrument, if you will, in, in a lot of cases. Well, I take that back because these are the type of instruments or from music that was made by other artists it typically like centuries ago that was a part of a record, you know, part of an orchestral band or something like that. And they're taken and they're sampled and then we'll put a hip hop or modern beat behind it to make it fly, right? This man, hey, you, you guys may may be into doing that with with his musical arts here at some point. But in his raw state, from a true artist, his thoughts, his innocence, like I, I admire Andre first of all from the day that we discovered him as an artist in the world. He was always somebody different. He sounded different. He just did things differently. And sometimes when you are someone's different, you, you get talked about. I can relate to that. When you buck against the grain, everybody's going left and you don't want to go right. How? How do you do that? Well, why would you do that? I've always been that person that just goes the opposite way. Like I try to go along with everybody else and what everybody expect of you, right? That's the problem. Everybody expects something from you. Everybody expecting the same thing. Well, how, how can we be true artists or be true to ourselves and, and be happy, right? If we're doing the same exact thing that everybody else doing. I, where everybody else is, that might be your decision. That might be your route. That person that goes this way, that's great. But I just feel like 
it's different for me. So I take a different, I take a different route. And when you take that different route, sometimes it's lonely. Sometimes there's a lot of questions you have. It's sometimes you stop and you pause and you ask yourself, am I making the right decision? Am I doing the right thing? Am I, where's this coming from? You know, you have a lot of questions. But you you got to keep on that path. You see what the other side has to offer, you know. And because it's different, doesn't mean it's wrong. It doesn't mean that we are crazy. It doesn't mean that you you know what I'm saying. It 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 doesn't mean all the things people think about us when we the only ones or the the, the few that decides to go a different way. I admire Andre 3000. He's, he's doing something different. He sees something different, hears something different. And I'm pretty sure that there was many questions about what he's doing. And I like what he's doing specifically because he took a chance. You know what I mean? I seen an interview of him kind of explaining the route and this direction and what he's doing. It It is a very bold move to go against what everybody else is doing. And I'm pretty sure he's being talked about and I'm pretty, you know what I mean? But at this point, it's like, who cares? But at the same time, so for the lo-fi stuff that I do, you know, I've done a lot of R&B. I've done a lot of hip hop. I've done, you know, a lot of stuff that can be easily stacked against something else easily. But when you go a different route, like I say, lo-fi being one of those, it's it's not the preferred choice of music when you are so used to what's being played on the radio, right? This this here music is one. It's you got to be on another level. You got to be somebody who's just tired of what's going on and, and going against the agenda. It's the same stuff every day, all the time. When will somebody do something different? And I and I felt like Andre took the the plunge. He took the this man did. He did something different, you know. And that's what I try to do here. That's what I've been trying to do forever. But for someone of this caliber to do that, and I mean, he went all the way left field on this one. You know what I'm saying? Like, there is no beat necessarily. It's just him experimenting for the most part. And and when you're experimenting and you record that and you publish it, you know, even though it's it's an experiment on me, even though you might be not great at what you do, like he's not a flute player. He's not a I'm 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 not gonna downgrade what he's doing, but I'm but you know what I'm saying? Like this he's he wasn't trained to play this and even though he may have gotten some training but but, but y'all understand what I'm saying I mean in his interview he said it himself he picked up this instrument and he just started playing and started experimenting and that, and that's what I'm, I'm I'm highlighting that part it'd be the same for me and it's the same for a lot of us but we are scared to release and let go because we are so perfect and we want things to sound perfect. And, and I'll be the one, the first one to say that I I try so hard to make my music sound perfect or to make it sound like something that I feel like could be liked or loved that I sometimes forget that I just need to let go and and just let it happen, let it be. And that's been the place I've been at with this lo-fi stuff. I've just been letting it go, you know, not focusing on how much instruments that should go or the type of instruments that I should use for something. I'm just going for what hits me and what sound good to me and what motivates me for me to listen to and hopefully people will like what I'm 
what I'm doing. You know, and that's always the goal. You would you would love for everybody to love what you're doing, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do what feel good and let it go, and not worry about what other people think. And so I love Andre Three Thousand for his new music journey and where he's going with that. And, you know, he may do a rap album next after this. And I don't know, but I just felt like he opened up something. There's a new lane right here. He he opened up for people who to, to just let go. And a lot of you guys, man, I don't even know who Andre 3000 is, but go back, look him up. If you do, if you're not familiar He's he comes out of a group called Outcast during that time. And even if you even just think about the name Outcast, it just means that he's outside of the box, pretty much. From the clothes he wears to how he think, lyrical, his just yeah. I have major respect for this guy and I, I appreciate you, sir. If you are, are watching this, Andre, I just want to say thanks, man. Thanks for being one of the ones who not afraid to release something that is not so much accepted. There's a lot of people that will just listen to it and be like, what is this? You know, but <laughs> you know, it's not for everybody. Just like I know that about my music. My music is not for everybody. I just hope to connect with those people who wants to hear something different. You know what I mean? I'm going to continue pushing my music. And my goal for my music is not to be be famous. Like, I don't. I used to want to do that as a kid. But then, you know, when you watch and you get older and you start coming into wisdom you know my thought process change i i don't i don't have the desire to to be a famous producer i just don't i just want to reach those people who vibe with me you know what i mean there's a lot of people out here that i know that would appreciate the sound that comes from this channel that comes from me as an artist and i want to reach those people so with that being said, I'm going to have to go through some people who's going to hear it and it's going to be like, what is this? This is garbage. This is trash. I, I don't want to hear this. I'm going to go through those type of people for it to get to the next person that's going to go, man, your music saved my life. As a matter of fact, it happened already. There are a couple of people who've already reached out to me and told me how much my music changed how they were feeling. Music is important. And I guess that's why there's so much of it. You know, there's a lot of us out here that that's producing and, you know, it's like making music. But um, I'm after helping people. And I think the way that I could do that is just by being me, you know, allowing my sound and how I authentically hear it, that is more important than trying to suppress. You know what I mean? Suppress because you, you're trying to compete with what's on the radio. Um, I still do that stuff. You know, when I get paid to do that, I still do that. But I've always wanted to put my, my sound out. And so that's, that's what it is for me. And once again, just big ups to Andre 3004 being different. You know what I mean? So that's all I wanted to say to you guys. Be culture. Remember, lifestyle governed by art.